Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have an Adobe Illustrator tutorial and we'll be creating like these flat icons. And this tutorial is fantastic if you are a motion graphic designer or a just a graphic designer in general. Uh, just because we'll be taking a look at you know designing pretty much any vector that you want to create. And uh, let's go ahead and like take a look here. So you know typically there's you know, if you're trying to create icons for whatever you're trying to do for your project, you just got to understand that it's probably already been created several times. And one thing I like to do when I want to create an icon, uh, you know, usually I'll type in, you know, specifically what I'm looking for. Um, but over here, just to let you know that there's a lot of reference images to go off of. So you don't have to just go off of, you know, true creativity. So whatever you're trying to create, always, you know, do some research on it before you create it. And then it's usually good to take you know, a few styles and you know mesh them together. Um, but if you want to go ahead and create like a real object, you know, of course, uh, you know, a Mac computer vector has been created a thousand times. But you can search up any object that you're looking to create, and you can always you know copy the image into Illustrator and you know, trace it. So uh, oh, you know, trace over it with a pen tool. So you know, there's a lot of options and things to work with. But in this tutorial, we're gonna create. Uh, you know, uh, I guess a Mac computer with a little bit of design and also using strokes to create just a complete, you know, flat image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch with a, going up to file new and we're going to create a new document and we're going to call this one tut. And I'm using pixels just because, you know, I'm mostly a motion graphic person and, you know, I need to have, you know, I like having pixels to go by so I know, you know, how big things can be. But it doesn't really matter. We're working with vectors. So it doesn't really matter what you choose. I like pixels because I know truly how big that is in my head. But, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter because we're creating vectors. So do what works for you. So here we are in a blank document. And since we're creating, you know, this iMac computer, uh, uh, we got to know that, okay, so we have some nice little edges here. So it's nice and rounded. Uh, we have a screen and I guess a little icon and, of course, the base of the computer. So we're going to do this by going over to our shapes over here to the left. And we're going to select the rounded rectangle tool. And then we're going to go here and we're going to kind of just draw out like a box, like maybe like this. And then uh, I'll just kind of move this down here, go to the selection tool. And then let's go ahead and change the color of this to like maybe you know, maybe black over here. And let's go ahead and turn off the stroke. Okay, and then we'll kind of move in here. And the one thing we can do is increase the uh, corner type. So, or not the corner type, the corner radius. And you know, as you see, the corners start to, uh, you know, be, be, become more rounded. So it's looking pretty good. So now the next thing we can do, maybe, uh, maybe what we can do is copy this layer and then go up to edit, paste in place. And I meant shape. <laughs> so basically, what we can do is kind of scale this down by a little bit. And as you can see, it's not perfectly, you know, symmetrical here. So what we can do is maybe select our inner shape and hold down Alt. And we can kind of like drag out the edges a little bit. Maybe we'll move this up by a touch. Okay. So there's a couple options we can do here. And we can select both of these shapes here. And we can go to Window Pathfinder. And we can subtract these shapes, and of course, things become hollow. And you know, it's not. It's, it depends on what you want to do, but that's one way to do it. But what I'm going to do is select the you know the screen here and go to the gradient tool. And I'm just going to click here, and we have a gradient created. And what we do is go over to the gradient tool over here, and we can go here and kind of like select some colors we want to work with. I'm just going to use some presets, you know, swatches here. So, uh, yeah, that's good. And then we can change the degree, the angle to 45 degrees or whatever. So, so maybe what I'll do is I'll bring this in by a little bit. And that looks pretty good. And then, you know, also what I can do is select both these layers and go to the align tool and just click the centers here. And then you see everything's perfectly in the center of everything. It's looking pretty good. And then what, what I'm going to do is go back to the rounded rectangle tool. And I want to draw out the base of the computer, kind of just like this. And I'm going to set the color to like a light gray color, like that maybe. And then what I want to do is go to our layers, which is over here, and maybe open up this and set the new layer, you know, to go all the way on the bottom here. And that looks pretty good. So what I want to do now is kind of make this these right angles. So what I'll do is I'll select our, uh, you know, black background here. 
and I will click on the circle here one time and then I will click again and drag it in all the way to make a perfect right angle. And then we'll do the same exact thing on the other side. And now we have, you know, rounded, uh, you know, corners all the way up through. I want to go ahead and check how many pixels this is rounded by. So what I'll do is I'll just click this here and kind of just like drag it here. And it's like 13.9 pixels. So what I'll do is I'll just go over here and go to the top here and say, hey, I want this to be 13.9 pixels rounded. So it's looking pretty good. I moved it over. There we go. So things are looking pretty good at this point. So now I want to create the base of the computer. So what I'll do is go to the pen tool and we'll kind of click a point like right here and we'll kind of drag it in just by a little bit like this, click another point and then we'll kind of go out like this. And then I'll just kind of go halfway to like right here and then I'll hit V on my keyboard to go to the selection tool. So we created uh, about four points, a point at the top, middle, uh, left corner and one on the middle here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this and go up to edit, paste in place. Then we're gonna go up to object, transform, reflect, and we can enable preview and flip over vertical and click okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and hold down shift and drag this over. Now that we have this, maybe what we'll do is I'll select one of these here and I'll go back to the pen tool, select the top point here and then go all the way across like that. So now we go to our direct selection tool and we can kind of drag these points in a little bit to kind of make things a little bit round. So I'll maybe make these about eight pixels and things are looking pretty good. And what we can do is maybe drag this up a little bit. Maybe we'll change the color of this to be a little bit darker because maybe you know it's in the shade or you know create some shading. And then we'll go back to our layers here and we'll put this like underneath. And now we kind of have this. And what we can do is basically select, select all the layers and go to the align tab and kind of center this up. So nice. So that's looking pretty good. And you know, maybe now what we can do is go to the ellipse tool and like add like a circle there and make it like a dark, maybe like a, the black color like that. And then maybe select everything again and center it all up. So now we kind of have a computer like this. And maybe what we can do is create like a little reflection here. So what I can do is go to the pen tool and I can kind of select the top here and go all the way, to, well, maybe I'll, yeah, over there and then go down to here and we'll kind of just follow the path and I'll just, so there's a point there and then I'll hold down shift, boom. We'll kind of close that up. I just followed the path of the shape and then we can go, uh, go ahead and change this color to white and lower the opacity to like, you know, 5% maybe. So now we kind of have this nice little uh, reflection here. Maybe we'll make it 10%. And I don't think I created a gradient on that. Yeah, I definitely didn't create a gradient on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure. There we go, that's good enough for me. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good. So now uh, this isn't really a, you know, a 2D flat concept, it's more of a 3D flat concept. But what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to like the rounded rectangle tool and I'm gonna go here and kind of just draw out like a box like this around the side and kind of close it up and kind of keep it thin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select like maybe a black color again or something like that and go up to the layers and put this new shape underneath everything. So now we kind of have this going for us. It kind of has this like a 3D shape, but what I'm gonna do is maybe go ahead and set this like to 14 pixels because this was about 14 pixels before. You know, maybe we'll go ahead and set this maybe to like a lighter gray. And now we kind of have like this 3D bevel going on here. It looks pretty cool. And maybe what we can do is maybe select the shape again, copy it and paste it. And then we can like rotate and maybe we can rotate it, uh, you know, by 90 degrees and bring it to the top, you know, drag it out all the way and maybe bring it up just by a little bit. And then we can just go ahead and rearrange this to the back here. So now we kind of have like this nice uh, 3D look to this uh, computer here, but there's a lot we can do. I mean, there's a lot of interesting things you can do and add and make this thing look even better, but I like this a lot. And you know, it's pretty much ready to go for whatever you're trying to do. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just scale this down and move this to the side. And the reason why I love Illustrator is because when you scale things down, it just all scales together and it's, you know, it's just a beautiful vector. So now let's talk about creating you know, a uh, vector from a stroke. So like this little uh, you know, mail here, this little email icon. So what we can do is go to like uh, the rounded rectangle tool and we're just going to you know, draw out a nice little rectangle again. I feel like everything is always designed from rectangles. 
All right, so it's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll go ahead and increase the radius for the corners a little bit. And it's looking pretty good. And then what we'll do is go ahead and turn off the fill. And we'll go ahead and up the stroke by a little bit. Maybe we'll go to like 16 or so. And there we have the out the frame for our uh, mail icon. Then I'll go to the pen tool. And we'll kind of like go here to the center here. And we'll go all the way to the center point of our uh, you know, mail frame, and then we'll go back to the corner over here at the top. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few more strokes. So what I'll do is kind of go to the anchor point he here on the frame, click it, and then kind of click a point over here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go over to uh, Paste in Place. And then we're going to go to Object, uh, Transform, Reflect, and vertically is good. And then we'll go ahead and just move this over all the way until we lock that in to the side over here. So everything's looking pretty good. And so here's what we wanna do now. And this is optional. This is why I wanted to create a stroke icon is if we scale this in, the stroke can get really thick or if we go ahead and scale it up and get really thin and you know that's not consistent, that's not really great. So what we'll do is we'll make sure everything is selected here and we'll go up to object expand and make sure you know at least the stroke is selected and we'll click okay so now uh, we've created these into actual fill uh, shapes and we go ahead and scale it down and pretty much stay uh, propor proportional and it won't get all bulky as it did when you scaled it down so it's a pretty cool concept and then you can go ahead and change the colors for everything here easily and you know things are looking pretty good and um, if we want we can go ahead and select everything and go to the pathfinder tool and we can click on add. So, boom, we don't dislike everything anymore. So, that's pretty cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And hopefully you can now create you know anything that you're looking to do. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. Or hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more tutorials just like this. And if the video has been helpful, drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.